You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for Shen the Panda. This is uh, Xylee's rock star friend from China. If you're not sure who Xylee is, well, we have a video of Xylee in the channel. So we'll put that in the description below so you can check it out. So let me just uh, zoom in to the bottom of the box or inside the box here. It says, The Adventures, uh, Xylee, The Adventure on the Silk Road. So I'll get the read that book in there. Then as you can see, it looks like he's got a backpack with drumsticks and a passport. Let me uh, just turn this around here so we can see the back. Nice and colorful. So Xylee and friends meet her friends from around the globe. So that's who we have here, one of her friends, Shen. So let me just uh, show you the bottom of the box there and uh, all the different outfits. Uh, not all of them, I'm sure there's more, but you have to go to the website, uh, xyleethebear.com if you want to check that out. So what I need to do now is take this out of the box. It's easier for me just to do that uh, off camera so that I can get it out and put it all on the table for you. So we'll check back in just a second. Well, here we go, all set. Uh, real easy to get out of the packaging without destroying the box and everything. Slides out, two or three twist ties for the main, uh, for the panda and the backpack. And then the book is actually was wrapped in plastic, so I took that off and it was taped inside. And then the drumsticks were nicely tucked in there. So let me uh, move those out of the way. We don't need the drumsticks right away, but I'll show you those. Uh, we have the book, which I will read you some of the story. All right, let's have some story time. Then you get the backpack, the passport, which I'll show you. Let's get right to Shen. Now, Shen is a panda, so let's take a look just at the... I have him like this because he's so big, all right? So it's hard to fit in the camera, so i got to lay him down. So let's just take a look at the jacket first. It's Velcroed in the front. You have pockets that you can open and put things in, which is neat. So let's take that off just so we can check out his shirt. And what I like, uh, just like the other one we showed you, the Xylee Bear, the clothes are really easy to take off. There's not a struggle there. Pretty cool shirt. Nice styling shirt, actually. Check that out. So that comes off also. Nice Velcro in the back. So quick and easy to change outfits. The pants, Velcroed in the back. There's the Adventures of Xylee the Bear tag. And then it looks like his legs, yes, his legs and his arms are jointed. So you can... You know, have him sit down in your bed when you're done making your bed so he's ready for you at night. Pockets in front. Put things in his pockets. Uh, these are sealed so you can't get into those. Pants look like they'll, uh, you know, easily change because they're wide on the bottom. Overall, really soft and cuddly. What a panda. Check out that panda face. Because when you're cuddling with your panda at night, it has to be cute. Look at those eyes. Now tell me that's not cute. All right. So everything nicely done, soft and cuddly. So let's get his coat back on, check out the other items. Then we'll do some story time. Okay, let's see if he'll sit back here for us. You know, plus two, the bear needs to be played with and handled and you get softer and easier to move around. So let's check out the backpack. And it very much looks like a backpack. It even has the little pull thing on it to tighten it. Two straps, which are also adjustable, which is neat. Then you have a zipper to put your stuff in. Pockets. Pretty neat little backpack. How's that? You take that over there. Let's check out his passport. So, let's see. People's Republic of China. That's his place of birth. Name Shen, age 12. There's his passport number. And there's little uh, sections for you to add. Details if you take him on vacation with you. Why not bring your passport book? And then uh, here's the actual book, Xylee's Adventure on the Silk Road. All right, let's see the back. And then let's flip through a few pages. Well, I'll tell you what, before we flip through the book, let's check out the little drumsticks here. So here's the drumsticks you get. And if you didn't know, LPS Dave played the drums. So I know all the different drum rudiments, like a single paradiddle. A flam, a single stroke roll. Now it'll be hard to do double strokes because these don't bounce like regular sticks, but here's a double stroke roll. Pretty neat. And a drag, a single drag. 
hard to do with these, but you know, maybe I can give uh, Shen a drum lesson one day, huh? Because I used to also give drum lessons, so I'm pretty uh, versed at playing, and it's kind of neat for me to get the uh, Shen Dao with the drumstick, so I find that pretty cool. So let's check out the story next. So you can actually play with those sticks, see that? So the adventure on the Silk Road, and let's see what this is all about. Well, let me uh, let me do this. Let me get a better uh, camera angle here so you can see the book better. All right, here we go. Here is the book. I had to get it at the right angle because you're still going to get some of the lighting glare depending on the way I angle it. So let's see if this works. This book belongs to... And then here's Xylee's Adventure on the Silk Road. So it's her adventure with Shen. So now she's traveling. Remember New York? Now we're in uh, China. So let's see. It says, Hi. I'm Xyla. You may not know me, but I've been on quite a journey. Actually, my Aunt Willow would call it an adventure. I'm a young bear from Manhattan. I live with my little brother, Theo, who is always sneezing and getting into trouble. So then the story goes on. So remember this now. P.S. Whenever you see one of these, which is a light bulb, flip to the back of the book to learn more. So we'll do that. So there is the first picture. Looks like they're playing drums here. And uh, let's go. So it says, boom, rat-a-tat, boom, rat-a-tat, boom, boom, boom. Xylee and Theo watched a colorfully costumed band play their traditional Chinese instruments on the streets of Chengdu, China. I hope I said that right. So there is light bulb number one. So that's where you can get a little information here. So let's go to light bulb number one. And uh, Chengdu is a major city located in central China. It is home of the Wolong National Natural Reserve, a protected area for giant pandas. Pandas are among the rarest animals in the world and need protect protection in order to live. So you see how you kind of, you're learning as you go through the story. So do we get past the light bulb? Okay, so wow, this music is great, shouted Xylee. I've never heard anything like it before. But Theo didn't hear a word his sister said. He's just kind of jamming along with the music and loving it. So Xylee was especially curious about the exotic red drum being played by a panda bear. When the song ended, everyone in the crowd let out a big cheer, except Theo. He was still dancing to some imaginary music in his head and made the panda laugh. I guess he wasn't ready for you to stop playing, said Xylee to the drummer. Hi, I'm Xylee, and the dancing bear here is my little brother Theo. We're visiting from New York. Hi, I'm Shen. What brings you all the way over here? asked the panda. Well, I wrote an essay about China for a contest and won first prize, said Xylee, and this trip was the prize. That's a really cool looking drum, Shen, said Theo. Shen explained that the, instrument, the instruments are called red flower drums. They were played by warriors a long time ago. The red drum is a symbol of power in the Chinese culture, said Shen. I mostly just play it at special ceremonies. What I really want to be is a rock star. Shen pounded out a loud rock and roll rhythm on his drum. Cool, maybe Theo and I will see you on stage one day, said Xylee. You can count on it, responded Shen. So let's read a little bit more. Shen invited Xylee and Theo to join him for lunch at a restaurant that served only one thing, dumplings. What's a dumpling, asked Theo. It's a little ball of dough filled with different surprises, explained Shen. It's delicious. The waitress gave each of them a set of wooden chopsticks. Ooh, number two. Let's go see. If you've seen some of our Lucky Penny Shop videos, I do use chopsticks, especially when cooking. So as in China, these long, narrow sticks have been used as eating utensils to pick up food for over 3,000 years and are still used today. Yeah, cool. All right, so it's delicious, okay? So, kuazi, said the waitress in Chinese. That's our word for chopsticks, said Shen. It's pronounced like this, kua e zi That's a real tongue twister, Zali said as she tried saying it out loud. Xylee carefully lifted up a dumpling between her two chopsticks, but instead of landing in her mouth, it shot all the way across the room and hit the waitress. Fing, bing, right off the, uh, right on her stomach there, huh? Uh, oops, sorry about that, Xylee said. How do you say fork, please, in Chinese, she asked with a laugh. Shen showed them how to use the chopsticks. I should probably warn you, he said as he ate, ate a dumpling. Our food is known for its spiciness. Oh no, look at the time, said Shen, jumping up. I've got to get moving. Wait, said Theo, don't we get fortune cookies? Ah, he wants a fortune cookie. So now the story continues. I'll just leaf through it now. I'm not sure if you want me to read the whole thing or not. It would take a while. It's a long book. So you would have to get the book to finish the story, right? There's the giant drum. 
Looks like he's doing some kind of martial arts demonstration now. Ah, so Shen knows martial arts. That's cool. Very colorful. There you go. That is the book. So now you understand the concept behind the books and the dolls. Or bears. Or the panda, however you want to say it. So let me do this. I have uh, Xylee sitting off to the side. Let me get them both in here so you can see them both together. I thought it'd be cool to bring them both together so you can kind of see what they look like again. So this is Xylee and this is Shen, the one we just showed you. If you want to see Xylee's video, check in that description. We'll have a link there. And Xylee came with a map. She had a little passport and a little diary book. Those were all tucked in her little backpack or purse right now. And her story was Adventure in the Big Apple, and I read you some of that. And then his story was Adventure on the Silk Road. So pretty cool. Both dolls, uh, if you want more information, there'll be links in the description for you. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.